let's say you know somebody who's taken some video with their phone and they've taken the first section of the video in portrait mode and then they've realized their mistake and they've decided to change the phone into landscape mode but they wanted to preserve the entire sequence of the clip they've taken so they can post on YouTube but they want you to fix it for them so that when it, it transitions into the landscape mode it looks normal when it's posted to YouTube or Facebook for that matter. In Final Cut Pro I've already created an event and a project and I've imported my video clip that I want to deal with. The clip is nothing special, it's just to illustrate the process of editing a clip to change the orientation of the landscape section so that it looks reasonably decent on YouTube or Facebook or whatever other media you're going to post it to. So the first thing to do is to add the clip to the timeline. And in so doing, I'll make it a little bit bigger because the next step is where we start to do a little bit of editing. Let's edit the clip to remove the piece that I don't want. Choose the blade tool, move it on the timeline to the point to make the first cut, then move to the second cut, go back and change to the select tool, click on the bit that I want to remove, press the delete key, and now I have the two sections of the clip that I want to retain. The next thing to do is to edit the section that I want to transform and rotate into landscape mode. So we select the clip, choose the transform option, hold the shift key down, click on the little rotate button, rotate left 90 degrees, grab the resizing corner and pull it out so that it occupies the entire screen and click on done and we now have our landscape section set as we want it to be. At the moment, if we play that clip, the transition between the two sections is fairly sharp. Now, some people are probably quite happy to leave the clip like that, but I prefer to add a transition since Final Cut gives you that option to do so. So let's just add a little transition into that section there between the two parts of the clip. I'll shorten it slightly so the transition isn't quite so long. And then we'll move the timeline marker back and play that. And I'm sure you'll agree that's a little more pleasing to the eye. And we've got the latter part of the clip now in landscape mode, which is much, much better when viewed on Facebook, YouTube, whatever other media place you like to post it to. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.